Bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis Cotalia de la Livre, le reine du de la croix à prix au monument d'os de la Livre. Bienvenue sur mon chat et bienvenue chez Conscious South. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Conscious South. In today's video, we are going to be discussing and I am taking you along with me for Hoodoo House Calls and Hags. Yes, I am taking you along with me as I go visit a client and a client that has been experiencing hag work, to be honest, um, that has caused a lot, a lot of trials and tribulations, challenges, um, mental um, uncertainty, mental um disparity, the list goes on, which is why you need to get into this community service. But we're going to get into that in a moment. But before we get into all of those things, I need to ask you to please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, leave a sweet, kind comment below, hit your notification button and share the video. Deca, super, merci beaucoup. So let's get into this conversation. Oh, but before we get into this conversation, I must do the announcements. First announcements, the June community service, you all, I cannot stress to you how you are going to hate yourselves if you do not get this done. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. See, a lot of you think it's all about I, I got to get my desire, get my desire, get my desire, I get my desire. But you don't even ask the right questions or speak the right words to actually manifest what it is that you actually want. You do not have the mental clarity. Some of you know what the, the what you deserve, but you don't know your worth and the value enough. This community service provides that this community service removes the things out of your life so you can see where to go. Oh, what is my path? You will know your path, but if you do not have a clear mind, head, body, spirit, this is not just working your head. Your head controls everything. It controls everything. Your actions, the way you talk, you're sitting here petitioning things and you're petitioning the wrong things because you're wrong here. So you have attracted a love in your life and not a lover in your life. What's the difference, ma chérie? Let me tell you. Écoutez, s'il vous plaît, ma chérie. D'accord? Listen, écoutez. The love could be a toxic love, an abusive love, a conditioned love. A traumatic love, but not the specific lover. There's a difference, but you don't know that. The things that you know that you're supposed to have, and you're like, I just can't see it. I'm telling you, when I did my very first full head washing ritual, when I was looking for my house, I could not see it. It was not available. So I so I thought, okay, did this head washing and the houses became available in the price point and thing that I could afford and so forth and so on. Immediately, it literally gives you what you want and it gives you the ability to get what you want. That's what I tell a lot of people. Y'all get so caught up with intentions, 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 love and light, intentions, thoughts and prayers, intentions, all of that stuff. And the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. And so that being said, understand, it's not about your intentions. It is the clarity. This is why when you do start getting initiated or if you get initiated into ATRs, okay, your head is the first thing that is worked. This is why. But this is a head washing and blessing. So you're not just getting the clear, the, the clarity, and now things are open. But I'm also giving you a solution to place your blessings, what you want. You then can speak and know that those things are right there and present. 
that that's what this does anyways all that to say y'all only got about 24 hours to get this situation <laughs> you only have about 24 hours um midnight okay midnight um this is supposed to end on the 22nd so on midnight at um june 23rd gone Okay. Um, also, just remember that in doing this service, you actually end up getting your um, elemental candle as well. The next thing is the virtual coven. Again, I can only tell you, and if you decide to listen, that is on you. If you don't listen, that is also on you. But as y'all saw here recently, I just gave, my goal is to do like weekly. Um, now, we meet once a month here on YouTube Live, and it's very candid, very raw, very frank with everything is uncensored. Um, but then we also do, for example, this week they got a spell how to make somebody go crazy, which sort of aligns with today's um, with today's um, video. Do not miss join the virtual coven. The link is below. The next thing is the Société d'Esprit. This happens out, and let me also mention, the coven actually meets um, the fourth Wednesday of every month. Now, the Société d'Esprit, whichever way it goes, because I think I have more space over here. Um, for the Société d'Esprit, which meets every third Tuesday, we didn't meet yesterday because I had just gotten back into town. In addition to that, because I was just getting back into town, everyone that was supposed to have a reading yesterday you will be getting an email today um, to reschedule that, okay? Um, I do apologize. I should have blocked off that time and I didn't. So my deepest apologies um, for that. But the Associated Free, the Mediumship um, Society meets the third Tuesday of every month. Um, so please make sure that you join us for that next week month and the full moon sound sections i'm still on the fence about i need to figure out how that's going to work best for my life so i can be the best for you in that space okay whoo now that all of that is out oh yes private readings private readings oh 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 we got oh my goodness we got the boot camp tonight my baby y'all we going in we are going so in so make sure that you all are getting ready for that um so that's happening this evening and as well make sure that you're getting your monthly readings you all i promise i i i don't i don't know i don't get it it, it doesn't make sense to me you all wonder, there is no reason for you to suffer and go through a hardship when you have a community that can provide you with the guidance and the protection you need to obtain the abundance of financial ability, freedom, love, health, wealth, whatever it is you want. But you all wait until you're harmed, you're stabbed, you're bleeding, your limbs are hanging off, and then you wonder, oh, I need help. Je besoin did. No. <laughs> now I got to heal you, build you, so that we can actually manifest what it is you need. No. Get ahead of it. Get ahead of it. Okay? There's that. Now let's get into this video. Let's get into this video. Um... All right, so we're going to get right into this situation. So, as I mentioned, um, we are going to be discussing, and I'm bringing you along for the hoodoo house call and and hags. So th I'll make it very clear. I do visit people on a regular basis. In fact, the very um, one of my, I think, the very first trip to Mobile I had was because. I had to come and do a working for a lady here in town, to be honest. That was my first trip to Mobile. So I do hoodoo house calls, but normally when I am having to come to your house, it is because there is no other option at this point. I'm going to have to come and do this work myself. I have no issue doing it. It's what I know. Honestly, I love doing it because that's how I grew up doing it. Oh, we got to go over. So we walk over to Miss Margine or to Miss Tucker or to Miss um, 
Jennings up the road, or Miss Bolware, and so forth and so on. And so we we would walk, we would go, we would do the works. Sometimes, and also too, in who do traditionally, it was that personal situation. I need for you to meet me at 11:30 at the crossroad at this crossroad, the intersection of Boom and Boom. And so doing this, it it fills my spirit um, completely. And, and so I, I am grateful and I am humbled by those that trust me to do that work, one, um, but then also trust me within their space, two, as well. So that's huge. But let's get into this conversation of the hoodoo house calls and hags. So again, the, the house calls are very important. Um, they can be things that are incredibly heavy to things that are not so heavy. But normally, if I'm having to make a house call, it's heavy. Someone just may, all right, I know this isn't that big of a deal, but I would prefer you to come and do it. Okay, then we can do that. I can do that. That's not an issue. We can make that a thing. Um, but for this particular client, she had been dealing with, and as well as a student, you're going to see in, in the video how things play out and some things that were revealed, um, how this particular student, um, had been experiencing some very harsh, brutal, um, riding, hag riding. What are hags? Hags is under the category of tranquil spirits. Now, you will see, and I know y'all don't like me saying this, and oh my gosh, da 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 woo, 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 but this is just the truth. There are some appropriators out there that will go, oh, the intranquil spirit. It is not the intranquil spirit. It is, in, there are intranquil spirits, right? And hags, hags are in fact a subcategory of intranquil spirits, right? So, Hags are conjured, sent, and designed to ride you into exhaustion, ride you into mental, psycho, um, um, some type of heightened psychosis, um, mental distress, physical distress will ride you into a heart attack or a stroke, normally they're heart attacks, um, will scare you essentially to death, um, will exhaust you beyond measure, most of the time mentally. Now, hags are truly designed to do that enough to get you so weak that they enter your body and take host is what a hag is does. That's what it does. And it will keep coming for you and at you and at you and ride you night after night after night, week after week after week until it gets what it wants or unless you know what to do to um, distract, counteract, repel or dispel, which is why I had to come to the house to dispel this hag to dispel the work that was done to expel this particular spirit and being that was my purpose and it in fact is being done period point blank um it is not a thing for me it's something that i've been doing a very very long time so that is the um the, the, the key reason why we're here. And one may say, well, how do you know that a hag is at you or constantly at you or, um, or any of those things? Well, one large um, indication is, are you dreaming about spiders? Are you dreaming about centipedes and worms and a large abundance of snakes, um, things that are surrounding you, closing you in, because this is the, these are side effects and symptoms. Another spiritual symptom or alert that you will see is those exact same creatures will literally, not in your dream astral world, but literally 
be in your space. Come to your space in large abundance. Gnats, flies, centipedes, spiders, bugs, beetles, um, all of these things. And this client literally has sent me videos of the centipedes all over their house, all over their house, starting to come into their houses. Went around to the other neighbors. No other neighbors had this. It's not a neighborhood issue. It was a them issue. And that is where um, is, is, is some triggers or some alerts and things that you may recognize in regards to that. Okay. Um, so I just want to keep up. You know, I'm trying to be good on my time and all of those things, of course. Um so here I'm going to go ahead and allow you all to just see a little bit of this experience and then we'll come back. D'accord? Super. Et voilà. Voilà. So just there, um, you're going to see that I did a lot of the work beginning outside. Now, this particular client actually has videos where there are clear apparitions of the hag clearly trying to enter the home, trying to go upstairs or the top floor. Um, and you see this is not these little fly flickery situations. There's a large slow mass that's trying and trying and trying. And so whatever this client has done on the inside of the home is really assisting with, with uh, the peace inside the home, but the client and the student is being attacked when they step out of the home. And again, there'll be some things revealed here that you'll see. So anyways, we have to begin outside. We have to begin outside for multiple reasons. There are things that I have to do specifically for me. Um, and then there are things that have to be done specifically for the space. And so we begin outside. Now, the thing about it is this, I, I wanna be very clear. I'm gonna see some people start talking about, well, this is how you do things and this is the process. First and foremost, you don't necessarily know how this video is being edited and if this is in sequential order, um, if again, if this is at the beginning or at the end. Also, you don't know the recipes of what is being used um, and so forth and so on. Um, you don't know what's done in between the times that you don't see. So I'm gonna tell you now, if someone's like, oh, I'm doing hoodoo hag house calls now, they're not doing it and they're lying. Um, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. And especially if you go back and watch this video and it's lining up to what I'm doing, there's a lot of parts missing here. And there are parts missing because there's work done prior to the arrival of the location, all right? So there's that. So there's work that's done um, specifically for that. Now, when it comes to hags, normally, normally you would do something um, that would prevent them from even entering your home, from entering your home. And there's a variety of things. Now, a lot of people are gonna be really quick to just be like, oh, but throw some mustard seeds out because it's just a very general protection, you know, kind of deal. I'm gonna throw some mustard seeds out or I'm just gonna, you know, pour some oil out. Well, this goes back to that conversation of general product versus the worker doing the work, which is why a lot of people will have to come in month after month after month. Protection counter, protection counter, protection counter, protection counter. When you could just go to a professional worker, have a protection gree -gree done, um, or have gree, gree protection done, or um, or um, a plan, or any of those things created that will last up to a year, and then you refeed that protection spirit, perhaps, and again. It's, it's a lot that goes into it. So 
some people go, well, can I just light a candle? No, you can't. Because when you're working with products, and y'all are gonna learn this in the boot camp, when you're working with products, a lot of these things are very general. These are things to just keep things good, to maintain things. But the reality is when it comes down to an intranquil spirit, a hag, a hate, um, a hellhound, um, a particular spirit of the crossroads or an actual spirit of the dead or these particular things or if your land is sour there's not a candle oil bean green potato tomato none of those things are going to matter you have to have someone do the work whether they're coming to your home or you have to have someone with the ashe to do it some people say well i did this cleansing and it didn't work you don't have the ashe for that and that's okay that's okay. I know in this self-serving world of spirituality, you can do it all. You can be it all. You can do it everything. And everybody is this and that and da 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 And you're not. That's not the reality. Penguins can't fly and worms can't either. You know? It's just like you, 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 there, there's different and worms have their, their purposes. Penguins have their purposes but they're not eagles, no matter how many classes they take, no matter how many books they read, no matter what initiations they go under. You don't have the ashi for this, it's just what it is. And so it's important to know the, this is why it's has to be done. And this is also why when a lot of people are like, queen, I had work done for you and da 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 da. I am out here in these to-do streets, going house calls, doing house calls, seeing people. I'm traveling, I'm doing a variety of things. I don't document every little second of my life um, because that's not, first of all, first and foremost, you don't need to know the locations that I'm in because there are some things you may say, oh, well, I know who this is. That confidentiality is super important, okay? So there's that. Um, but yeah, there are things that have to be created on the out on the exterior of the, um, exterior of, of the, of the own, um, and that's super important that something is done on the outside. One for the house, those that are in it, coming in and out of, as well as me entering. D'accord? So now that we sort of discussed the importance of the house calls, um, here's a little bit more of the video or, or the experience. Enjoy. Okay, so there you see me in the house doing particular things um, for particular reasons. We already know that we are dispelling, expelling this hag. Being at the home, it was a very interesting experience because, again, there is a atmosphere that was there that was very much peaceful. But there, again, are videos where we're seeing this hack show up when the parent is at home and all of those things. So with this particular house call and why house calls are important, okay? Sometimes these spirits, hags are sent periodically, weekly or monthly or nightly or at the same time they are sent. Sometimes someone has buried something on your property or placed something up under a rock or a brick or something, okay? It could be that. It could be a variety of reasons why someone needs to come to the house. When it also comes to house calls, it is super important because it gives the worker a true opportunity to know what the severity of it. There's been some times that I have gone to people's houses and I'm like, mm-mm. What is here cannot be changed. And I will leave. 
And that's the real thing. There is work that can be done that cannot be undone. And I come from the tribe that will give you things that cannot be undone. And that is a real thing and a thing that we hold with pride and with, um, and how do they say it? Um, with, um, what is this? Um, my loves, um, it's just, it's, it's not a thing. It's truly not a thing um, to give your generations, okay? Give your generations the spiritual business. Um, and so you may say, well, queen, why is this important, especially when it comes to house calls? Because if I could plant a spirit on your house like this, it becomes these mental disorders where everybody in your line or the majority of people in your line are suicidal. Yes. Oh, you're going to suffer. Kill you. No, somebody else. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so, and the thing about it is, it's the worst because it's like they're killing themselves. But why are all these people in my bloodline? Why is this a thing, baby? Because you did not have a house call. My cousin, my dad, my brother, my sister, so forth and so my cousins, people are just going and they're taking their own lives. Baby, that's only part of it. Because if I can make you take your life, I will take your spiritual life, baby. I will take your spirit. That is a thing. And so this is why it's important to have these particular house calls. It gives a clear insight to particular things, so forth and so on. Now, in this next clip, you are actually going to see where I have this discussion with my student. Something that they were supposed to do and they didn't do. The Conjure South Hoodoo Institute. My loves, I promise you, it will change your lives. We actually, um, open enrollment begins January, I mean, July 1st, just in a week or so. Make sure you take your prerequisites and, and open enrollment begins July 1st to August 1st. So you have the whole month of July to get those classes done, all of the five classes, do those are pre-recorded. We can send them out to you, all of those things. But when you are a part of the Institute, I'm going to take care of you, number one. But I set things up for a reason for you to learn. I had to learn. And now you will see that this student is having to learn. Where's your blue bottle? Is it fixed? So, I ain't did no work. I literally, I got a whole book where I just been listening to the videos, doing all my notes. Have you done any of it? I have, but that's just the beginning of And that's maybe a large problem. This is why I have got to do the protection work first, because if you don't, you will get tripped up. I set you up from day one, which is why I have got to do the protection work day one. So stop taking. I try to take the notes. No, you can you can take the notes, but you gotta get that the, 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 the protection bottle done. Did you do the the cemetery? Did you get the general cemetery done? Here we go. <laughs> protection. She said, "Don't fuss at me." I'm never going to fuss. I'm, I'm not one to be upset like that. I, I'm honestly, I am pretty much this way all the time. I could be livid and be exactly like this. Um, and, and the thing about it is this student did not do the protection work that she needed and was supposed to do. So you automatically listen here. The protection work I have my students do at the beginning of the Institute will set you up where if you got something on you, you can't even enter your own house. And we got videos to prove it. We got doors bursting off of hinges. We got videos to prove it. No lies at all. And that is a true, real thing. And that is 
all that it is. You got to have a spirit of protection. Well, queen, um, how do I get one? A spirit of protection is not the same as a protection charm. That's a difference. There's a difference between me giving you a gree-gree package for protection versus me giving you a spirit that moves with you and your bloodline that you feed. There's a difference of this. And I, I, I've taught about the differences between the charms and the spirits and, and the importance between those two and so forth and so on. And so she did not do that work. There was no protection set up. But if someone can get a hag on you early enough, you're not going to be in the mental space to do the protection work, which is why you all need to get the June community service. I promise you that a woman just called me. I'm, I'm depressed. I can't get out of this job. I know I don't need to be there, but I can't move. What do I need? This community service. I'm going to tell you this. Some of you are not going to do it. And then you're going to come to me in about a month and go, queen, I'm stuck. I can't do this. I can't do that. And when I have to do it for you customly, it is more expensive. When you can get it now at a discounted rate. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Hmm? Ce n'est pas nécessaire, ma chérie. This is not necessary. You don't have to wait. Here is the chance. Here is the opportunity to get things together so that all things can be together. Okay? Um, but it's also super important to understand if you have not been touched kissed by a hag or a hank or an intricate spirit or any of these other particular um intrusive spirits um in your lives um that could be in your lives if you can get ahead of it perfect make sure that you do put out your protection spirits or if you do have charms because if putting up enough charms create enough barriers to show you if you put up a bottle and it fall out of the tree somebody threw for me but they didn't hit me that bottle break you know you've been kissed by that spirit without a doubt and now work is going to have to be done and probably work beyond what you can do a professional will be needed yes you can throw out mustard seeds um you can take aloe vera and wrap it in red cloth if you will and net it above your front door um and those things you can put particular peppers um present out as well um to for protection too but again i'm not going to sit here and give y'all a whole protection class that in this boot camp we're going to talk about the general things to do that but if you stay protected if you keep that protection up and i'm here to tell you this i am here to tell you this do not do not think for one second oh i'll give it to the ancestors this is above me now your ancestors protect you by guiding you your ancestors just don't beat up your enemies and take down your 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 your, your challenges that's not how that works um which is why a lot of you are in the positions that you're in. My ancestors don't listen. The magic ain't magical and all of these things. You don't understand. You do not come from this culture, so you really don't understand what it takes and what it truly looks like, to be very honest. So there's that, my loves. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure. Get the community service right now. Go make sure that you join the coven right now um, and get your monthly reading so you don't end up with me having to do a hoodoo house call, a hoodoo house call, a hoodoo, hoodoo house call, a hoodoo house call. All right, so we're not going to get into all of that. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. It's been a pleasure. Merci beaucoup. Je répète, je suis Côte de la Libre, Merci, au revoir, à bientôt.